underway here is the outstanding striker, the conditioned Du Ho Choi. The majority of his pro wins have come by knockout. They have come in round one. We'll see how it goes for Du Ho Choi here tonight. Beautiful combination by the champion there. Straight right hand now just misses. Unable to connect them. Early connection with the left from the champ. There's his jab. Big overhand right. Another strike to the head lands. Nice straight right lands. That shot is blocked by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, beautiful technique on that straight punch. Back and forth we go. advantage you might as well use it nice job there to find a home for that gym joy gets touched by that kick there that's a beautiful body kick just over three minutes to go round one nice punch by joy well now these kicks are really starting to pile up since he found his range this could be trouble Oh, so the taller fighter lands a flush knee. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Oh, and he lands another combination here, really starting to get into a striking group. I mean, and stringing them together so effectively, never doing the same attack more than once. What a job to recognize all the openings in his opponent's defenses. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Wow, strong roundhouse kick there. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Choi. So he needs to mix it up. He needs to start kicking more. Oh, misses with the jab. We're under two minutes now to go round one. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. He talked a lot to us about his length and his size advantage. Doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it certainly did. Oh! Nice! And now that jab starting to get established. Working off the jab, it's good. Head kick attempt, it's blocked. You know, that's, that's a big thing whenever you're blocking high kicks, man. You cannot just take the brunt of that kick on one arm. You have to get that cross arm to try and guide that kick so you don't take all of it. Under a minute to go in our opening round. Oh, beautiful kick to the head. Nice shot there by the champ. What a great job getting that kick to the target. Choi gets caught by that straight punch there. Oh, he's got the single collar locked in the clinch now. And now some separation. And now another being thrown on both sides. A shot to the leg. Love the press on display there. Nice takedown.
All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. In a very close round, a takedown like that might be the difference. Right. Sit down, bud. Take a couple deep breaths. Relax. Breathe. Let's refocus there. You're looking a little careless out there. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1-level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, round two. All right, here we go with our next round. A lot to be happy about in that previous round. He was attacking the head at will, and until his opponent adjusts, might as well go back to it. There was no negative to him headhunting. Most times the coach yell, don't headhunt, don't headhunt. I'm yelling headhunt if right, I'm his corner. Right. Because every time he's thrown, he's landing. Oh, the cut has just opened up on his forehead. We'll keep an eye on it. Nice body kick there. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. Pretty good execution for him there on the sidekick, DC. Just really feeling himself. One of those traditional martial arts techniques that are making their way to the U.S. soccer team. Joy gets caught by the inside leg kick. All right, so another stiff jab there. Really good use of that weapon, not unlike he did in the previous round. Throwing that low kick. Nice liver shot lands. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment, John. It may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do eventually, it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Oh, nice. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing stroke. And you're fighting a great fighter. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the level of the fighter in front of you. And now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change. Make him think he's going lower than comes right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. All right, so an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has recovered. His opponent recovered. Now he's got to deal with everything that he needs to bring at him. He should have got the fight finished at that time. Well, you got to think he might be trying to set up that overhand again. He's found a home for it all night long. Let's see if that holds true. Big power shot there. He's found his range. Now he's in a rhythm, landing those nice, beautiful punches. Cannot take those leg kicks clean like that. All right, so a seminal blow earlier in the round. It wasn't a knockdown, but it was certainly a stunner that caught his attention. Oh, I mean, he got hurt bad. To see him still standing, that just goes to the toughness that he has to be still standing after taking such a damaging shot. Well, until his opponent adjusts, you might as well keep going with it as he continues to land a high volume of strikes in this one, DC. Well, you don't want to be stuck on your feet with a boxer of this caliber. This guy's too good. And as you see his opponent looking lost, this is what you expect. He is that good in this singular skill. He got on four-ounce gloves. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Well, he's really 
starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Oh, nice. Nice. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. This dude can kick. That's one of those shots that if you take one of them, it in the night, that will land you right on the spot. Oh! Uh, Ten minutes. Stop in the can. Uh, all right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. All right, so now we have some real adversity. There's a cut on the nose. Hard to know if that's impacting the breathing, but some definite damage in that previous round. Yeah, some real damage. And now when you get a cut like that, that is in a bad spot is every time you get hit on the nose, it's so jarring. And then the blood starts to go down into the mouth. He's got an uphill battle ahead of him. Ready. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10-plus minutes of fighting. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter evades. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Nice defense there. Huge block. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Back and forth we go. Straight punch is good. There's that jab. Quick right hand lands. The Korean Superboy gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Oh, nice jab. Man, that cut is so bad, you wonder if at some point that is going to start to affect his breathing. Lands a nice leg kick. Yeah, he's got to. He's got to start checking kicks. He's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. <laughs> Under three minutes now to go in the round. Oh, that couldn't have felt good as he lands the knee to the body. He's a tall fighter and he's going to have the size advantage against most opposition in this division. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys going out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight. They're both doing amazing jobs. Let's see who gets the job done at the end of this day. Oh, beautiful combination of kicks. Just misses with that one. Well, he's had next to no answers for the body shots here tonight, and now some redness really starting to develop on that side. We're starting to see the damage. We're starting to visibly see the effect that all these body strikes are taking on this guy. He's got to do something different, and he's got to be very careful because look for his opponent to go over the top now that he set him up. Another nice kick there. Solid series of kicks. They're all landing now. Huge knee lands on the coach. Doing a really good job of using that reach advantage. Man, that cut has really opened up.
90 seconds to go. Impressively done. Yeah, he's a half guard here. Nice strike from bottom position. All right, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Motioning for his opponent to stand back up here. All right, less than a minute here to go now in round three. Nice job landing the double jab there, DC. I mean, you are definitely pressing that one. You love that one, don't you? You love that jab. Oh, roundhouse kick lands. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is. Oh, that is as good as it gets on the feet. His opponent in a lot of trouble now. That was Cain Velasquez, the punch of choice. Every time he lands that overhand right, he hurt people bad. Like this guy has his opponent hurt very badly again. Big right hand. And landing some nasty strikes. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Gotta be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Uh, All right, three rounds uh, down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship round. All right, there's the horn signifying the end of the round, and he heads back to the stool, and hopefully he can stay in this fight because that is a severe cut that he's dealing with right now. All right, let us now get you some replays of all the damage done in that previous round, including the strike that opened up the cut. Yeah, some nasty strikes landed over the course of that round, and it opened up a nasty cut. He has got to find a way to change some things defensively or that cut is just going to get worse and worse. And the worse it gets, the more he runs the risk of this fight getting stopped. You ready to fight? Ready. Go All right, here's round four. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go. Fourth round of a possible five. And this is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, lean on the heart. We'll see who has the upper. You feel pretty good in round number five. Round number four is the one that really does test the fighter. It really does test the metal of the guy inside of the octagon. Beautiful punch lands there. Right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that punch. That one snuck in. Nice strike. What a fight. What a display of physical and mental toughness on both sides. I'm not sure who's more injured, but they're both hurt for sure. Yeah, John, they're both beat up. But I think that is the key. The mental is what's going to allow you to get your hand raised in this fight. This will not be easy. You're going to have to go to some dark places whenever you're in front of a guy that is as good as you in every aspect of fighting. Look for him to throw that overhand here again. The defensive Savant, he blocked that punch. Oh, lands a beautiful jab. Big shots being landed on both sides here. The Korean Superboy gets caught by that flush straight punch. Nice job by the offense there. Rips the body there. Just over three minutes to go. Trying to go to the bottom. There. Somehow, his opponent stayed up. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. All right, so the overhand has certainly been a big weapon for him here tonight. Look for him to go right back to it here if he can find an opening. Bro, that cut is so bad. Like, can't the referee stop the fight right now? Somebody needs to stop it, because he won't. Yeah. That's the thing. That's the beauty in the fighter. He will not quit. Sometimes, you got to go in there and tell him, hey, man, there's tomorrow. Yeah. That's not happen today. Tomorrow's work. Lands a nice jab there.
tried to land the punch, but a swing and a miss by Choi. I really hope this man doesn't have to sneeze tomorrow. It is not going to feel good. He has absorbed a whole lot of damage to the body, and they might stop this fight soon. Could you imagine what his ribs feel like right now after taking all that damage to the body? It's visible. He looks like he's overreacting. He's wincing. It's hard to watch, man. Very hard to watch. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> oh, nice right hand. Just out of range with the big right hand. They're so evenly matched, they're going tit for tat. Nice straight punch there. Well, oftentimes when you see damage like this, things are critical. We don't always see a referee calling a doctor for body strike, but maybe this would be a case to call him. This is one of those situations where something abnormal is going to feel pretty good. We don't see it very often, but this is one of those times where doctor needs to come in and check this guy out. Good jab there by the champion. Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. Thirty seconds to go in the round. Nice job on defense to block that punch, champ. Twenty seconds left. Beautiful strike. Great job landing that body kick. Ten seconds to go in round four. Oh, four sounds for the end of round four. All right, so the fighters head back to the stools, and hopefully this fight can continue. That is a severe cut. We'll see if the cut man can do some good work here. Don't be stupid. All right, let us re-rack some replays of the damage done in that round, see if we can isolate the strike that caused the cut. Yeah, a nasty cut opens up when he lands there. It's a beautiful shot that gets to the target. He has not been responsible defensively, and he's really paying for it because now he's dealing with that nasty cut. You ready to fight? You ready? So here it is, folks, fifth and final round. Oh, nice inside kick. Straight right is there. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here. Really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Choi's kick is blocked. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Well, the crowd continues to react with every passing land, but if you're the referee or even the corner, somebody's got to get involved, I would think. Somebody's got to do something. It's getting very uncomfortable to watch this, and as the crowd gets excited, they're going to see a little bit of that. Uh, yeah. I don't want to see any more going on. Oh, going to land right there, the seminal blow of the fight. I and mean, it was perfect. It was absolutely perfect, John. Great placement on that upset. Oh, man, this is hard. Oh, you got to start to look to finish him now. All right, so the uppercuts have been a big part of the storyline in this one, but the setups have really been key for him. He's not telegraphing that strike, and the opponent hasn't been able to adjust. He has not been able to see them. It's a very tricky... Oh! He has to evade stance base. Big right hand there. Oh, well-timed with that team. Both fighters throwing heat now. Nice target change and him attacking the body. Three minutes now to go in this one. Troy gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. He's 
got to either go solid or he has to actually just try to throw the whole kitchen sink at him. And now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change. Make him think he's going to hold the fight over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. Strikes are just brutal. Nice transition. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Chor. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Man, his jab is good. There it is. Man, his sidekick is just killer. You saw it right there. He has a really good sidekick. He's so fast at doing that technique, and there is no tell when he attempts that certain strike. Just misses there with the left. All right, here's Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 23 seconds of round number 5. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world.